Ricketts? Something really big is brewing. No, what is it? Nell Stout, or at least some part of the company. What do you think of that? That's silly, Helen. What makes everybody want to spell out? Well, I don't know. But Nell said when she was in his office, she overheard him talking about it. Do you think there's really anything to it? Well, Nell says she heard Mr. Cowdery say that the Perkins Company plant in Cleveland can handle the entire load. You can figure it out from there. Everybody's talking about it. Gee, I hope not. Oh, this is Mr. Stone. I'll see you, Helen. Okay, so long. And we'll be happy to talk over the matter with you on your next visit here. Cordially yours. That'll be all for now, Alice. Mr. Stone. Mr. Stone. Yes? Well, I was wondering if you could tell me if it's... Well, you see, my husband works here in town, and we just bought a new house, so... Well, I'd hate to have to move or look for another job or anything, and... What are you trying to say, Alice? Well, you see, everybody's talking about Perkins Company taking us over, maybe moving us all to Cleveland. I was just wondering if you could tell me if it's true, because if it is... What? Well, I'll be... How do rumors like that get started? Look, Alice, who told you that? Well, it's kind of all over the office, Mr. Stone. Well, you and the rest of the girls can forget it. There's nothing to it. Why is it people are always interested in things that are none of their business? First thing you know, the darndest rumors get started, like this one. Look, Alice, will you please take my advice and not repeat any of these silly stories? Yes, Mr. Stone. The grapevine. Yeah, the old grapevine. Something simple happens, it's misinterpreted. A story starts and grows and grows. For instance, Two weeks later. Oh, Alice, if you will wait just a moment, you can take these reports up to Mr. Cowdery. Yes, sir. Well, look, Mr. Stone, I'll be running along. Don't worry, we'll get your new computer and those file cabinets in early next week. Good. Now that we're getting rid of those two desks out there, I guess we'll have room for them. Oh, yes. What about the expert operator? Oh, uh, I've taken care of that. We're sending you our very best girl. Good. All right. Uh, here you are, Alice. If you'll just give these reports to Mr. Cowdery's secretary, please. Yes, Mr. Stone. Now, I'm planning on keeping your expert operator here long enough to train both Helen and Sally. They're two of my best girls. That way, both girls will be trained on the new machine, and we'll be able to get out a lot more work with less effort. Well, I can guarantee you this, Mr. Stone. You're going to like it. And the girls will be happy with it, too, after they've learned how to use it. I'm sure of it. Within a week, both my girls will be old hands at it. Just a normal business improvement. Stone, head of accounting, is getting a new type of computer to make his department more efficient. A simple improvement in methods. Simple, that is, until the office grapevine gets a hold of it. I hear they've already ordered one. Yes, Helen and Sally. Moving them? Transfer, laid off, fired, without notice. Just like that? What did they do? Well, the least he could have done was tell us first. Well, that's only what I heard, Helen. Maybe the thing for you to do is go right in and ask him about it. After all, you're not sure. Well, you're his secretary, Alice. Why don't you ask him? I wouldn't ask him. I told you how he acts when anybody asks him anything about anything that goes on around here. Well, where there's smoke, there's fire. If they're moving our desks out and getting a new automatic machine, they must be getting rid of us, too. Well, that's the thanks you get. Four years at the same desk, working your head off, and then in comes a newfangled machine, and out you go. Well, I think we ought to quit before he has a chance to fire us. There's plenty of other good jobs around here. I don't know what you're going to do, Sally, but I'm leaving early today to find me another job. And it's really a swell job. And if you'll come down... Good morning, girls. You already... Oh, uh, Helen, will you and Sally come in for just a minute, please? I've got some news for you. We've got some news for him, too. Well, I guess this is it. Oh, come on in and sit down, girls. I've got something I want to talk to you about. It's all right. You don't have to tell us. We know. And it may interest you to know that we don't care. This is the thanks you get for years of hard work. Maybe we don't want to work for you. As a matter of fact, I already have another job. 
I start Monday. Wait a minute. Another job? What on earth are you talking about? And I've got an interview set up for Sally, too. Maybe it's a good thing to change jobs now and then. People get so used to seeing you around, after a while they look at you like you're a piece of furniture. What in the name of heaven are you talking about? You needn't pretend, Mr. Stone. We've heard all about it already. The whole office has. You think just because you buy a new automatic machine, you can let us go and get an experienced operator for it. Well, let me tell you... Let you go? Oh, for Pete's sake. If, if this wasn't so serious, it'd be ridiculous. Look, I'm buying a new computer to take the place of those two old adding machines out there. And they always send along an experienced operator to break someone in on it. Now, I thought you'd be much happier with a new setup. Golly, Mr. Stone, uh, we thought that... You thought? Well, why didn't you come into me in the first place instead of listening to all this silly backyard gossip? Well, I heard that whenever anyone comes into you about something, you say it doesn't concern them. But... Look, girl. It isn't always possible to tell you everything that management has in mind. You can understand that. But I'll certainly tell you about anything that concerns you directly. In fact, that's why I called you in here, to tell you about this change before the equipment arrived. Oh, golly, Mr. Stone, we thought we were going to lose our jobs. Well, I'm sorry, girls, if you got concerned and upset over nothing. But how in the devil can I keep these rumors from getting started? 